no ordinary storm. From her lifeguard station at the shallow end of the pool, Becky noticed clouds gathering in the sky. By the time she took a break at 2.30, the wind was picking up and the sky was darkening. The pool manager announced over the loudspeaker that the pool was closing immediately due to a severe weather warning. He asked everyone to head to the safety of home before the storm hit. All of the swimmers had left by 3.30 except for Jessica's neighbor, eight-year-old Zach. Zach's mother had dropped him off at the pool while she ran several errands. She had planned to pick him up later, but the storm was approaching fast. Jessica decided that she would drop Zach off on her way home. She quickly sent Zach's mom a text and taped a note for her on the door of the pool office, just in case she didn't get the text and headed out with Zach in tow. The minute Jessica and Zach left the parking lot, it was clear that this was no ordinary storm. The wind came in strong blasts, the storm clouds were dense and dark, and the sky had turned an eerie green. The rain hit just as Jessica turned onto her street, coming down in sheets and making it hard to see clearly. Jessica said, Zach, I'm going to take you to my house. We need to get inside right away, and your house is farther away than mine. She pressed the garage door opener, but nothing happened. The electricity was out. The front door was only a few feet away, but the wind was so strong that Jessica and Zach had to fight their way out of the car and into the house. Jessica held Zach's hand firmly. The door was heavy with the pressure of the wind. Finally, it opened but it was wrenched out of Jessica's hand and it slammed against the side of the house. The window shattered. Jessica grabbed Zach's hand and pulled him inside. Her only thought was to get to a safe place. Remembering everything she could from her emergency training, Jessica dragged Zach to the basement stairs. Her heart was pounding. The stairwell was pitch black without the overhead light. After what seemed like hours, Jessica felt the door to the storage closet under the stairs. We'll be safe in here, Zach, she said, trying to sound calm and reassuring. They had just gotten inside when everything went deadly quiet for a moment. Then they could hear the sound of glass breaking and the furniture being tossed against the walls by the wind. A deafening roar like the sound of a train filled their ears. Tuck your head under your arms, Jessica yelled to Zach. After a final crash, the lifeguard and her charge felt drops of rain on their arms. They saw a flash of lightning through a crack in the ceiling. The sound of the storm grew distant. Jessica began to breathe easier. She and Zach were safe, but what a story they would have to tell. <laughs>